leaders were also appointed to various BARM ministries. They are now working side by side with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, counterparts in ushering peace and development in the region. The national government remains committed more than ever to fulfill the commitments it has made under the 1996 Final Peace Agreement. In 2023, the Office of the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity, or OPAPRU, launched the MLLF Transformation Program in Basilan, Maguindanao del Norte, Maguindanao del Sur, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, North Cotabato, Cotabato City, and Marawi City. A total of 1,941 MLF members have so far been verified and profiled under the Transformation Program and have received socio-economic transitora assistance. The Transformation Program aims to help empower and transform the lives of the MLF members, their families, and communities. Uh, the uh, peace uh, process, the peace uh, agreement in uh, Mindanao between the Moro National Liberation Front and the Philippine government was started by uh, the late uh, President uh, Ferdinand uh, Marcos Sr., which is happen to be the father of our present uh, president now. So we are happy to note that the present administration uh, led by our uh, His Excellency uh, President uh, Ferdinand Marcos uh, Jr. is uh, committed to implement all that uh, signed peace agreement. This process for natin, uh, it gone a very long way na. Started many, many years ago. At uh, nakikita na natin naman uh, ngayon, ang positive niya, fast pace siya. Uh, nakikita naman natin ang administration ng mahal natin na Pangulo na binibigyan ng importance ang peace process dito po sa Mindanao. At uh, nakikita po natin yung full support niya at ang openness ng administration to fulfill all obligations from the side of the government. At kami naman, from the side of the MNLF, partners po tayo in peace, partners po tayo sa journey, at partners po tayo sa bagong Pilipinas, sa future ng buong bansa. The Philippine government remains committed more than ever, to push forward, sustain, and build on the gains of the GPH's MLF peace process. The implementation of peace agreements is now in, in its concluding phase. Former combatants now live peaceful and productive lives in their respective communities. Some of our former rebels are now absorbed into the AFP, serving in the defense of the Republic, while others are now part of the PNP BARM. Government will honor and fully comply with its remaining deliverables and commitments under these agreements. At this juncture, may we invite Special Assistant to the President, Antonio Ernesto F. Lagdameo, Jr., to introduce our guests of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you uh, to uh, the Special Assistant to the President, uh, uh, Secretary Anton Lagdameo. Uh, please, uh, please take your seats. Uh, who has uh, also uh, been our uh, important uh, 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 operator in uh, the issues that have uh, been coming up as we prepare for uh, the uh, elections of next year for the parliamentary uh, mem for the parliamentary members of the autonomous uh, parliament of BARM, uh, the uh, honourable members of the cabinet. Uh, the Presidential Advisor on Peace and Reconciliation and Unity, uh, Charlie Galvez, Jr., the Chair of the National Liberation Front, of, or MNLF, and Minister, of, and Minister Muslimin Sema, Vice Chair, Moro National Liberation Front, and Deputy Speaker, Abdul Karim Tan Miswari, 
my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Assalamu alaikum. It is fitting that as we open the National Peace Consciousness Month, we also mark the 20th anniversary of the 1996 final peace agreement with the Ma Moro National Liberation Front. This momentous occasion brings us back to a defining chapter in our history, when the government and the MNLF formally ended the decades-long struggle. From the forging of the 1976 Tripoli Agreement under my father's administration to the signing of the 1996 Final Peace Agreement, we have demonstrated mutual respect and strong collaboration and a burning desire for peace. In our broader quest for peace, we have also engaged other stakeholders in helping us forge a path towards meaningful autonomy for the Bangsamoro. In 2014, the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro was signed. The journey was long and it was difficult. Negotiations sometimes stalled and there were occasions of very difficult areas of impasse. However, our fervor and determination for lasting peace has endured. Through continuous conversations, concessions, compromise, we finally signed the Bangsamoro Organic Law in 2018. The BOL is a testament to the value of peace for Filipinos. It enshrines the hopes and the dreams of the Bangsamoro people through the creation of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. The negotiations and peace talks took years and brought out a number of disagreements. Nonetheless, we persevered and came through for the sake of healing and for reconciliation for the betterment of our fellow Filipinos in Mindanao and of all Filipinos in the Philippines. Not only did our efforts lead to peace, it also resulted in increased investments, generated more employment, helped lower the poverty incidence in Barm. I extend my gratitude to the men and women of the MNLF. Under the leadership of Chair Nur Miswari and Chair Muslimin Sema, for your steadfast commitment as natural allies of this administration, and of course, as our brothers, our partners in, and sisters in peace. Let me recognize your support in our anti-terrorism campaign, particularly in the provinces of Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi, where insurgency was among its foremost concerns. We also acknowledge our international partners we would not have progressed this far without your help, without your guidance. Rest assured that you can depend on this administration to implement all signed peace agreements for the security, the inclusive progress, and stability not only in Mindanao, but throughout our country. The peace processes with former revolutionary organizations such as the MILF, Cordillera Bodong Administration, Cordillera People's Liberation Army, and the Revolutionaryong Partido ng Manggagawa ng Pilipinas, Revolutionary Proletarian Army, Alex Boncayo Brigade, Tabara, Paduano Group, now known as Kapatiran, are now in the advanced stages of implementation. We are also implementing the transformation program, which aims to uplift the socio-economic conditions of MNLF combatants and their families and communities as well. In the spirit of convergence, I urge you to continue working with all stakeholders in the region towards accountable, transparent, and people-centered in governance in the region. We are likewise encouraging you to engage in a continuing open and constructive exchange and dialogue with government and its instrumentalities to discuss the experiences and challenges of our people in Mindanao so that we can provide responsive policies to serve you. I also call on the MNLF and other stakeholders of BARM to ensure a peaceful and orderly and credible conduct of the first Bangsamoro elections next year. The forthcoming election is an important reminder, not only of the democracy that empowers us to mold our destinies, but also of the visionaries who paved the way for the freedom that we all relish today. This landmark, the election of the members of parliament that will occur next year, 
is as important a landmark as the signing of all of the peace agreements. This will now not only formalize, not only institutionalize, but actually operationalize BARM's part in the national government. And that is a very, very important landmark, a very, very important part of our peace agreement. This, that will be the day when we can say that we have recognized the autonomy of BARM, and BARM has also found, has also recognized the, its membership into the fold of society within the national government. And that is an important conclusion to any peace effort. With peace and understanding now firmly rooted in our communities during this year's celebration of the National Peace Consciousness Month, let us now focus on the transformation of a country towards a more inclusive, peaceful, and progressive society. Peace begins within us. It flourishes, as, it flourishes the moment that we strip ourselves of the idea of us versus them, promote respect for our fellows, uphold everyone's dignity. We can only promote peace if we cultivate the foundations, the conditions, the necessary environment for it to thrive and prosper in every corner of our society. So my fellow Filipinos, the dividends of the peace that we have worked so hard to achieve are now upon us. And the responsibility to create a more inclusive and prosperous country now lies in our hands. For us to move forward as a strong, undivided nation, the government will continue to pursue a principled and peaceful resolution to internal armed conflicts, with neither blame nor surrender, but with dignity for all. Together, let us build a more secure and dignified Bagong Pilipinas, where no one is neglected, where no one feels slepless, most importantly, where no one lives in fear. Again, happy National Peace Consciousness Month. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Mabuhay ang BARM. Mabuhay ang MNLF. Marami pong salamat sa inyo lahat. Thank you, Mr. President, for that inspiring message. May we request Minister Muslimin Sema and Deputy Speaker Abdul Karim Iswari to present a memento to our President as a sign of the MNLF's commitment to peace and a gesture of appreciation to the President's support to the 1996 Final Peace Agreement. Thank you, Mr. President, Minister Sema, and Deputy Speaker Miswari. Again, thank you, Mr. President, Minister Sema, and Deputy Speaker Miswari. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. May we request, may we call on the key leaders to please come on stage. Please be seated. Their national partners, please get ready. May we request our cabinet secretaries to also join the photo opportunity with the president. While our international partners, please get ready. Thank you. Please exit to the right. Thank you. Again, please exit to the left. International partners, please come on stage.
First batch of MNLF, please get ready. Thank you. Please exit to your right. First bud, seminal lap. Please come on stage. Second bud, seminal lap. Please get ready. Thank you. Please exit to your right. Second batch seminala, please come on stage. Third batch seminala, please get ready. Thank you. Please exit to your right. Thank you. Please exit to your left. We will request the president to kindly proceed downstage for a group photo. 
together with the distinguished guest. We request everyone to please proceed to the center for the group photo with the president. Please move to your center. On my cue, Mr. President, three, two, one, smile, peace sign. Thank you, Mr. President. That ends our photo opportunity and that concludes our program. Thank